Hey guys, it's Trisha with Upcycled Stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a bunch of blue jean seams into a hot plate and some drink coasters. The technique for making both the hot plate and the coaster are pretty similar um, and the supplies that you're going to need are the same. So here's what you'll need. You'll need some binder clips, um, the medium sized ones. These small ones here are just a little bit too small. So these ones are the perfect size. For each coil that you make, you'll need one binder clip. You'll need a really good pair of fabric scissors. You don't want to skimp on this because your hands are going to start to ache after cutting all the seams out. You'll need some E6000. I don't recommend hot glue for this project, especially for the hot plate because, well, hot glue melts with heat, so E6000 is your best bet. And then you'll need some jeans. For making these coils, which I'll show you how I did in a minute, the hems you want to use are these ones. And usually on pants, it's either the inside or the outside hem has this double seam in it, and that's what you want. You don't want one that looks like this. When you open it, you have this piece of fabric here that doesn't really um, hold its weight like the double seam does. So you can use like this bottom hem I've used before um, and it's okay to use. It only has one seam but it has this folded over fabric here. Um, so it really, it does hold its weight pretty well. Um, you can also look at um, up near the top pockets. There's any place where there's any kind of straight stitch stitching. Like the pockets here are not really that great for use for this project. But anywhere where you have up the rear end, along the top, um, even sometimes along the, um, the belt line, you'll see a double stitch. This one doesn't have it, but sometimes I found some there. So if you hold your jeans this way and you kind of force your scissor against the hem, while you're cutting, you'll get a nice even cut. You want to make sure you're not cutting on the hem, so you want your blade to be behind and you won't have all this extra fabric sticking out from your um, from your coils. So you're gonna go ahead and cut all your seams out like that and then flip it inside, inside out. And sometimes you get lucky and you have another seam. It's not as noticeable as this one, but it's another seam that you can stick your scissors behind this would be easier if I was facing in the other direction, but just put your blade up against there and start cutting. So the goal is just to really get the hem or the seam line without having um, extra fabric because if you do, you're gonna have to go back and trim it and it's enough cutting that you don't wanna have to cut extra. Once you have all your seams cut out, you wanna go and take any of these extra thick pieces and just chop them off. You don't need those. Okay, so once you've done all of your cutting of your seams, I just gather mine up in a bucket. It's time to start coiling. Okay, so let's make our coaster. So I usually make a coaster with two pant leg seams, um, which is really what you're gonna get from one pair of jeans. This is the size that it will turn out to be. When I put my glass on there, it's just, it's, it's okay, it'll catch water. Um, but I'd like it to be just a little bit bigger. So on this one that we make, I'm going to make one with two pant hems and then one um, seam that goes up the, the seat of the pants. So I have one long one, two long ones. These are the pant ones. And then I'm going to use from the seat of the pants, this little bit, sh the little one that's shorter. So it's kind of like two and a half maybe. When I'm doing this, I'm gonna start with my shorter seams because once my coaster gets bigger, it's going to barely fit around. Now this one happens to be a perfect fit, but this fabric here is actually thinner than this. So as I put my two seams on, this one won't actually make it around the circumference. So we're gonna start with the small one. You're gonna take your E6000, run a small bead of glue here. Okay, so I'm just going to show you uh, close up. The center is the hardest to get rolling 
but once it's going, it's pretty easy. Pin this one down first, and you want to make sure that it's this part of the binder clip is pushing your hem or your seam down into the ball. Okay, so now while that's being held in place, you can take your next piece and start wrapping it around. Make sure you've got plenty of glue wherever you start a new piece or end one. All right, now this is the tricky part. It's gonna get messy. All right, so you're gonna add some glue far enough to pass by where those two pieces meet. And this is where you're going to overlap and it's going to keep everything in place for you. Okay, so make sure everything's nice and tight in there. Okay. Nice and straight. And now you can continue gluing. Okay, when you get to the end, just make sure you have plenty of glue there on the end. You don't want it popping apart. And then before you clamp it, put it down on the table and give it a good push all the way around to make sure it's flat. And then you can take a clamp, place it on that end, and make sure that's pushing the end down. You want to make sure it's on there good and tight but not too tight because then you'll start to um, warp your circle. Okay, So you can set that aside for a couple of hours. The denim I find um, it takes a little bit longer to dry than other fabrics because um, it's so thick. So set that to aside to dry for an hour and then I let it cure for a good 24 to 48 hours before you use it. So this will be my finished coaster. Put my glass on there. That's a much better size for that kind of glass than what I was using before, but that's how you do the coaster. So let's move on to the hot plate. Now for the hot plate, I've gone ahead and cut off a piece of the denim pant leg to use as a background for all of my circles. It's going to be the place where I glue everything onto. Because I'm going to do my layout on this, and then I'm going to trace around the layout and cut this to the right size, um, since I plan to do something a little bit less than um, perfect, like a perfectly shaped square or something. Um, I just want to get a little bit fun and have some geometric shapes. The one thing I want to warn you when you're doing your your hot plate is you want to make sure that all of your denim is the same width. Um, sometimes like the bottom hems they're a little bit thicker so you want to refrain from using those typically in um, your hot plates. Those are good for using like if you do a whole bunch of hems together to do a coaster or something like that or some earrings or whatever. So I'm going to just start laying these out. that works for me. So I'm going to just take a pencil and I'm going to trace around this here edge. And then I am going to take a quick picture with my cell phone so that I can remember this pattern. I'm going to try to slide it off of here keeping it in some sort of um, <laughs> some sort of semblance to what it's supposed to look like. However, I just don't think that's going to work out very well. So I'm going to slide these all off 
in some sort of order. And I'm writing top on here so that I know that this is the top of my design that's laying on the table. And I'm just going to cut this out and when I do cut it I'm going to cut it to the inside of each line so that it doesn't hang out over the side of the finished um, hot plate. I'm just going to pull up my little picture on my cell phone of what it looked like. And it really should be easy to place everything back where it was. So I'm going to just start gluing these down. I'm going to just take my E6000 and I'm going to apply glue to the, um, the fabric background. I'm going to just pick up one circle at a time and I'm going to apply a liberal amount of this glue and set it down trying to make sure that everything stays lined up the way I had it. I'm going to just add a dot of glue in each place where these three circles meet with this big one. Or I'm going to try to do that anyway. Um, the Again, what's keeping it together is all the glue on the bottom. So that's where you want to be liberal. But it would be nice just to have everything attached to each other as well when you pick it up. So right about here. Here and here. And then push it down into place and squeeze it in to the other three as well. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to do all of your pieces just like that, adding glue to the sides as well as underneath. And then I'm going to put a book on top of mine and set it aside to dry. So here's my finished product. I'm really happy with the way it came out, but I did have to go back um, after I let it dry for about an hour. I did go back and pull apart some of the circles and add a significant amount of glue to it. I think the other thing that you could probably do to make it a little bit more sturdy, it's good now, um, but it did take some doing is instead of adding the, the denim to the background, maybe a, a piece of cork would be nice too.